This is Business Analytics Using Forecasting. I'm Galit Mueli. In the next videos, we're going to look at several smoothing methods. We're going to start with a simple method called the moving average. And we're going to look at two separate uses for the moving average. What is the moving average method? It's very simple. The idea is to forecast future values by using an average of several past points. We can use this approach both for time series visualization as well as for forecasting. The reason that we like this method is that it's very simple and it's therefore very popular. The key concept to know about a moving average is what we call the width of a window. We're going to talk about two types of windows and the difference depends on where we're placing the window relative to the series. The first type of window is called a centered window and a centered moving average is going to be based on a centered window which is centered around time period T. A second type of window is a trailing window. So a trailing moving average will be based on a trailing window which is placed at time T and goes back. We earlier talked about different components that a time series might include such as trend and seasonality, we use data visualization to identify these patterns. A centered moving average will be used in what we call a moving average chart for exactly this type of purpose. Let's look at an example of quarterly sales of soft drinks in North America. We have data from the first quarter of 1986 all the way to the first quarter of 2002. We might have two different goals when we're using these data. One is a forecasting goal. For example, we might want to create forecasts for the next four quarters of this series. A different type of goal might be what we call time series analysis, where we're interested in quantifying the different components of this series, such as what kind of seasonality is there or has there been a trend. These two goals are very different. But in both cases, we would always start with visualizing the data. So let's start by visualizing the data using a moving average chart. Here is a moving average chart for these data. The smooth line here is that moving average line. And you can see that compared to the data that have a seasonal behavior, the smooth line very nicely shows us the trend throughout this period. What the moving average chart does for us is it reveals the level and trend of the series by suppressing seasonal and random or noise components in this series. So how do we create this chart? Computing a centered moving average is actually pretty simple. The idea is to compute the average of values in the window where the window is centered at time t. Suppose we're starting with a window that has an odd width, such as a width of 5. We center the window on time t, which means the window includes the periods from t minus 2 all the way up to t plus 2. We then compute the average of all the five values in this window. This gives us the moving average value at time t. For an even window width, we have a little bit of a problem. So what we're going to do is we will use two almost centers windows. For example, if I take a window of width 4, I would center these two windows around the almost center. And then I would compute the average in each one of these windows. Lastly, I would take an average of these two averages. This gives us the formula for a moving average for an even width window. Here's another example of using a centered moving average to visualize the monthly ridership on Amtrak trains. The black line is the moving average and here we took a window of 12 months. We see again that the line can suppress the seasonality and the noise and highlight the trend that is going on throughout this period. We saw here how to use a moving average for visualization. In the next video, we're going to see how to use a moving average for forecasting.